Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get up and running with NHL.TV in your Kodi setup. Um, NHL TV is very similar to the tutorial we did on MLB.TV where this is the premium subscription that's offered from uh, both the MLB and NHL. Obviously it's the same media company. Um, so this is a premium subscription. If you're looking for the freemium version, I highly suggest you check out our tutorial on how to install ProSport. Um, it is updated for September 2016, which I'll provide a link below, or you can just click the annotation here in the video. Uh, before we get started, um, as you'll probably see, my Kodi looks a little, dif little different nowadays. Um, if you're not too familiar with the program, this is version 17, and from here on out, this will be the new default theme that comes equipped with it. So if you've got version 16 or the older version, um, I will provide a tutorial on how to install NHL.TV as well. Um, so just skip to the end or you can click the link in the video description here. Um, to get started though, if you've got version 17, it's very, very easy, um, a little bit easier than before. What we need to do is we need to add a repository from the Cody forms from a guy named Arachnophobia. So I will again provide the link in the video description or you can visit the website and find the full tutorial and download links and everything. But essentially you'll come to this page, download this, and as you'll see, you'll click and download and save it somewhere where you'll remember obviously and then follow the steps. So to get going, all we need to do first and foremost, uh, with version 17 especially, we have to make a couple adjustments in the settings. Um, Cody will be turning off the ability to install third-party add-ons. So we want to enable that in order to install add-ons like NHL.TV, ProSport, etc, etc. So to do that, sorry, you should just go back. This is the home screen. You'll just scroll down to add-ons here. From add-ons, we simply just need to go over to the gear settings up here, click enter. And in here you'll see something called unknown sources. So by default, this is turned off into that selection on the left. So we just need to move the toggle to the right. You'll get this warning. Um, just click yes, and you should be good to go. So now we need to install the arachnophobia repository. So to do that, download the zip as I suggested. You want to go just to the left where the settings were, up in the top right there, to that little uh, download box. So click enter. And you should be brought to a screen like this. So what we want to do is install from zip file. And wherever you saved the, the zip file from Arachnophobia, so you just download there and then highlight it, hit enter, and you should get a notification at the bottom where Arachnophobia's repo it has been updated or installed. So now that that's open, we simply just go up and select install from repository. So you'll want to scroll down in a list of repositories if you have a bunch of add-ons. Um, you want to scroll to Arachnophobia's repo. Click enter. Um, in video add-ons, just simply hit enter again. And in here you'll see a list of the add-ons that he have in has installed. So uh, I've, I use MLB.TV religiously. It's a great add-on. It works well. Uh, same as NHL.TV. If you're willing to spend the money, you're not going to get a better option out there for sports. Uh, but to simply install, all you need to do is highlight, hit enter. Um, if you haven't installed it, you'll come to a screen regardless of this, but where mine says uninstall, it will say install. So simply all you need to do is scroll over here to the right and click install. And you'll get a notification that everything's been installed and you're ready to go. The last thing we need to do uh, once it's installed is to enter in your account information. And it's really easy to do that. You can do it from this screen where it says configure uh, once you've installed it and you can enter it in there. Or you can go all the way back to the home screen as well scroll down to where your NHL.TV is, bring up the contacts menu on a key, with a keyboard you simply press C and you'll be giving information and settings. So simply hit settings. Settings will open up and then you've got a couple options here. So login, obviously that would be your username, password. Now if you're in Canada, you're gonna need to turn this toggle on to a Rogers subscriber. And the reason for that is because 
for some ridiculous reason, the NHL has an agreement with uh, the Rogers Cable Network in Canada that they handle the exclusive rights to all NHL content in Canada. Regardless, it's the same platform, it still works. So um, if you're in Canada, just simply make sure you select Rogers subscriber. There are ways around this, but I won't go into great detail. Um, other than that, in here, some more options, the visual options. Um, you can adjust your screen quality. If you don't want to see the scores of the games, if you're, say, arriving late and want to watch it after work or the game's already over, just turn the no spoilers to on and you won't see any of the scores. You can select your favorite team um, and some of these other things, download the game preview, score notifications, play around with it and have some fun with it. But that's essentially it. That's all you need to do to get NHL.TV or Rogers Game Center installed and running in Kodi version 17. I'll show you quickly how to do it in version 16 as well. Hey guys, all right, so here's version 16 or very similar. This actually is version 17, but I've changed the theme back to Confluence, which is the default theme for Kodi 16 and below. Um, you know, it's basically the same thing. So if you want to install NHL.TV, simply follow these steps. It's really easy. Um, scroll all the way over to System. You want to go to Settings, go down to Add-ons here. And essentially, it's the same thing. So you want to install from zip file. You'll browse to where you downloaded the repository. Click Enter. You'll get a notification in the bottom right there. It's been enabled. Go up, Install from Repository and scroll down until you see Arachnophobia's repo. You'll go into video add-ons. And as you see, I've got it already enabled, but uh, what you would do is simply just hit enter on NHL.TV. You'll be given this box where you can uh, basically install. You'll just click install and do the same thing as we did for version 17. So once it's installed, you can configure again from here where you enter in your username, password, uh, if you skip through, if you're in Canada and have purchased through Rogers Game Center, you'll need to enable this. So make sure that's highlighted in blue. If not, turn that off. Um, there are visual options that you can change. You can turn off the scores if you don't want to ruin the result if you're starting the game late. Um, but other than that, uh, that's basically it to get it installed on version 16. Now you can do this two ways as I mentioned, so if you're not configuring from this screen, you can go all the way back to the home menu, go over to video add-ons, and in here you should see NHL.TV, bring up the context menu after it's highlighted by pressing C on a keyboard. Um, you should see information settings and add to favorites, so hit settings, and again this is how you can enter in your username and password after you've gotten a subscription from NHL.TV. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any problems or questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And of course, if you like the channel, by all means, subscribe. We're adding new stuff all the time.